Igbi was disappointed over what Governor Dodo of Kogi State told her concerning her marriage with Kabiesi. Information have it that due to the way things are going against her in the palace right now, she has been running from one person to the other looking for who will talk to Kabiesi on her behalf. Information have it that she has gone to Oba Elegushi and Oba Elegushi turned her down. She went to Governor Deleke. We do know that uh, Kabiesi and Do uh, Governor Deleke they are in a very good term. And that one told her that she should go and fix her marriage and stop looking for who, uh, stop uh, exposing Kabiesi's weakness to everyone. Then, when she found out that that one wasn't working, she decided to go to this uh, governor, Dodo, the governor of Kogi State. And I believe that the main reason she thinks that this one will work for her is because the governor in question is an Ibira man. Yes, he comes from the same side with the uh, Igbi, from what we are hearing allegedly. You know, they say he went to this, she went to this man and started telling the man how the marriage with KBS started, how KBS promised her that she is going to be the first wife, that Queen Naomi was never going to return back due to the way she left that she is going to be the one calling the shots, that nobody can downgrade her in the palace. They said there is nothing she did not tell this man about Kabiesi. That the worst part that is getting her worried and annoyed right now is that Kabiesi don't go to her London. Kabiesi don't care about how she feels. Some of the spiritual attack that she keep having in the palace, that Kabiesi will hardly ask her how far. And Kabiesi knows that that palace is uh, filled with some evil powers that uh, attack them and all of that. And yet Kabiesi will not ask her about it. Kabiesi doesn't even care about her these days. Even to the point that Kabiesi have demanded that the calabash that binds them be broken. That she's no longer interested in the marriage. That everything that Kabiesi promised her before the marriage. That Kabiesi is not doing any of that. Thing. That if there's any way she can help, uh, he can help. As in the governor can help to talk to Kabiesi on her behalf. And the worst part of it right now is that uh, uh, even the family members, this and that, yeah? They say when he fi when she finished telling this man this thing, they said the man started by asking her, what, okay, they said the man advised her first that what she needed to do right now is to go and talk to Kabiesi's family. If she think that what Kabiesi is doing is not right, that uh, did she try talking to Kabiesi's father or the siblings or the brothers that he can listen to? Yeah, they say when uh, the governor asked her about that one, she said, No mind those people, that those people they are hypocrites, that they have collected everything from her. What is it that she has not done for them? Yet, after collecting everything, now they all turn their back on her. That they don't care about her, that she have tried. They know, as a matter of fact, they are the ones who is pushing Kabiesi. When the man said, okay, what about Kabiesi's father? He said that that one, hmm, that he is busy supporting Queen Naomi. He is busy, busy working his way to ensure that Queen Naomi returns back to the palace. That uh, Kabiesi have promised her that Queen Naomi will not return. But they are pushing him to go and bring back Queen Naomi. This and that, that the father is the one that is carrying it on top of his head. Yeah? At that point, they said, the man told her that, look, if all of this thing you said right now is the truth, it simply means that there is something that these people saw in Queen Naomi that they did not see in you. Because with everything you have said, how Queen Naomi disgraced Kabiesi and left the palace the way she left, and yet his family are working towards bringing her back, and you that did not walk away, out of the marriage, you that did not insult Kabiesi, they want you out. It simply means that there is something that you are not doing right. It simply means that they have compared your character with that of uh, Queen Naomi, and they have seen that there are a lot of things that Queen Naomi have that you do not have, and that is why they want her back and want you out. That there are things that is when well, that when it is happening to you, you have to ask yourself questions. Because if you are doing well, these people wouldn't want you out. Financially, you are okay. And if you're okay in character-wise, I don't think they would want you to leave. 
they will, they will be coming for you. The reason why they are working towards bringing Queen Naomi back right now is because they have compared you with Queen Naomi. And they believe that or what they see in Queen Naomi, they couldn't see it in you. That is why they wanted that in back. It's not all about the person. It's about the character. That was what they said the, the man was telling, him, was telling her. Telling her to check her ways. That she needs to make amends and all of that. And again... Expecting him to go and start talking to Kabiesi about Kabiesi's marriage. That is an insult on Kabiesi's personality. Or don't she even know who she got married to? That is like they don't know the value of Kabiesi. And that is why she will have the audacity to come and discuss Kabiesi's marriage with him. That what you did now is punishable as in serious case. So. But for the fact that you are uh, his sister that he is going to tell you nothing but the truth. That if you want to remain in that marriage, what you need to do is to go and ask yourself question, make amends. You see those characters that we normally used to portray while she was in the palace that make these people want to bring her back now that she's no longer in the palace. Try to behave that way so that they would want you to stay. Because I believe it's because her character was good her character was so welcoming. That is why they wanted her back into the palace. And you that is already in the palace, they want you out because your character is not given. It's not what they expected. And coming to report, KPSC have shown that at least is one of them. You don't respect your husband. If you respect your husband as much as you are claiming, you are not supposed to discuss his marriage anywhere. They said when this man was telling her all of this, she was just looking. And this is because this is not what she expected. She wasn't expecting the man to tell her, to, her, to tell her the truth. She was expecting the governor to tell her, okay, don't worry, I'll use my influence and talk to KBS. <laughs> he doesn't know that the man is even uh, have so much respect for KBS. Of course, there is no how he will go and start talking to KBS about KBS's marriage with uh, Ebira people, with the Ebira woman. Knowing that it can destroy the relationship that the Leifer people have with the Ebira people. Eh? Or because of one careless... Uh, anyway. So they say when the man was telling her all of that, she was disappointed. And at the end, the man told her to go and make amends. That her lifestyle is not uh, welcomed by that royal family. She should try and live a, a, a life that will please the royal family so that they wouldn't want her out of the family. My people, when I hear this one, I ask myself, is it possible that someone will give out what she doesn't have? No, no, it's not possible. You can only give out what you have. And for the fact that Igbi does not have that Queen Naomi's character, she can never give it out. And for that reason, she will need to leave for people that have good character to come in so that there will be peace and love in the royal home. Don't forget that these are all alleged information. Share this video. Bye. I love you guys.